Phil from GotMemories.com here. Real quick video. Um, a lot of you have got films and they look like this. You've got many different film reels. You don't know what's on them, whether they're blank. Well, they're not going to be blank. They're going to have something on them. It's not like videotapes. For them to come back like this, they're going to have footage on them. But that doesn't also guarantee that it's going to be quality footage. So the conundrum you're under right now is do I pay to get junk transferred? Well, you've got a couple of options, which is going on eBay and buying some of these things, which are called projectors. And the problem is with these, they are anywhere from 40 to, like this one, about 60 to 70 years old. And you get them, and they've got all the bulbs and belts and all these things that can go wrong with them. Where does the film go? There's a million different things that can go wrong with these projectors. And what we see time and time again is people spending hundreds, yes, hundreds of dollars on projectors to try and view their film, to see what's on their film. Now, if you kind of think of it logically, if you spent a hundred, two hundred, we've had one lady who spent a thousand dollars on a projector. She could have had her film transferred five times over for that. Um, get a quote in and you kind of look at it and go, well, I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on a projector. Well, that's the bare minimum you should spend on a uh, projector. And those aren't even guaranteed. eBay, garage sales, you get them. Nothing is guaranteed with these things. They don't come with instruction manuals. Parts aren't made anymore. So you end up spinning your wheels and spending good money that you could put towards a transfer. So if you kind of do the mathematical equation and figure out, right, if I was willing to spend $100 on a projector plus $30, $40 shipping for it, how much film could I get transferred for that? And would it even itself out at the end of the day with junk that you would have got transferred that you would have thrown away anyway? And also, if you get one of these projectors and half of the reel is something you want and half of it isn't, you end up having to get your scissors out and splicing it all together and making even more of a mess. And what this boils down to is wasting more time and potentially money. But the big thing is time. Your films have been sitting around for you know, many, many years, 30, 40, 50, 60 years or more. And it's just one more thing in the way to actually making this become a reality and getting it off your to-do list of one of those things that you're thinking about all the time as you move that box from your garage to your attic, when you move house, you're moving it again, kicking it about, and you really, you've made the decision to go onto a website and look to get this done, and then when options are given, it's kind of like, well, there's one more thing I've got to check out, and then another year or two or three passes. So we see this time and time again, um, and of course, we're trying to get you to transfer your film, we're in the business of transferring film and making money, but logically, um, it doesn't make any sense to be going down this road and spending good money on projectors. We see it all the time when people have just gone through PayPal nightmares, eBay nightmares, with people selling stuff that they don't even know whether it works or not. And for the people that have gone through eBay before and been in a litigation back and forth between the seller and those emails and they get nasty and, oh, I, I hardly buy anything in that route these days. I need to touch and feel it. And even if it runs, for half an hour, it looks good at the garage sale and you've seen it, you run it, you've got four hours worth of film, that thing is gonna probably die, then the bulb goes or the belt goes and now you're back on eBay again looking for some specialist bulb that they don't make anymore. Uh, and you buy a bulb and we hear this all the time as well, $50 on a bulb and it's a 50 year old bulb, you put it in and the thing blows out in five minutes and you just wasted more money and time. Now, if you've got your reels and you're looking at them like this, okay, well, let's just get them transferred. I'm not sure of the order of them. Well, it doesn't matter. On the DVD, we can create a scene selection menu, which looks like this. And it's going to be a bit black on here because of the frame rates of the uh, camera here. But as you can see, each reel we can make is a separate file. So if you grab the remote or your mouse and use the directional pad on it, see it's colored in uh, yellow here, you can move around and just hit enter and hit number eight. You can then basically start to make notes. Number nine, you see at the top here, of what each number is. And then you can put them back in chronological order and have them all in the correct order with simple editing procedure. And you can also upload these to Facebook as well. So there's many, many options out there um, to do this without having to rely on old projectors like so. I mean, trying to feed this film through here 
and all through here and here, where does it go? And if this thing turns on and starts to chew up the film, your film of, say, your first birthday party or your child's birth is completely torn to shreds. And this film right here is, not, is no match for the metal and drive of this. This thing does not stop if it starts to chew up. It just keeps going. So just a few little tips there. And, um, you know, just, just years and years of experience, my experience in this business since 1993 of the day-to-day -day conversations we have people on, uh, have with people on what actually makes the most logical sense. And at the end of the day, it's going to save you money and, oh my goodness, so much grief and headache. So um, if there's any questions beyond this, let us know. Otherwise, thank you very much.